I made a lightsaber that lights up from my son's costume. Want to know how I did it? Well, you're in luck, because that's what this video is all about. Oh, Welcome to the cellar. As you might have figured out, I am the nerd. My name is Frederik. Now let's see how I built this thing. When my six-year-old son wanted to be Kylo Ren for Carnival, I knew what I had to do. I thanked some higher powers he abandoned his plan to be C-3PO and started with, with what I found most challenging, namely the, the helmet. I had never printed anything of that size before and it was quite a challenge on my 150mm cubed printer, but I managed and I even made a video showing how I went about it. Then it was time for a lightsaber. I had previously printed a couple of Luke Skywalker's lightsabers with the excellent model of the 3D printing world. And when my 10 year old daughter wanted to be Rey for Halloween, I modeled the hilt and adjusted 3D printing world's collapsible blade to make her happy. But with Kylo Ren's saber being what's called a cross guard lightsaber, there was no feasible way to do the collapsing. So I decided to go another route with LEDs. For the electronics, I used an ESP32 an 18650 battery with a charging PCB and a holder, and some WS2812B addressable LEDs. I made a quick and rather simple model of the Hilton Blade in Fusion 360. The blade was printed in vase mode, and I made a bunch of LED holder channels, making it three layers of transparent PLA surrounding the LEDs. There were quite a few parts printed in transparent and black PLA. Making sure the pieces fit, and sanding where needed, I got around to solder weld the LED holders. Now when soldering LEDs, I find roughing up the solder points a little bit with a knife makes soldering a lot easier. And let there be light! Moving on, more fitting and solder welding and fitting and testing. A total of three layers of transparent PLA printed in different orientation makes for an alright light dispersion and always test to make sure your soldering is on point. I used some CA glue to stick it all together and wiping off the excess. Some sanding, fitting, feeding through wires and cutting them to the appropriate length. Some soldering, positioning, testing, fitting and always make sure your battery is in the right direction. The lightsaber is, is not in any way done, but it's time to let the main man see what's about to come. And he seems rather satisfied. And with the helmet on, he nearly cut my head off. I'm glad it's not a real lightsaber. The costume does look good on him though. 3D print the last part, fit it onto the lightsaber, test. Some more CA glue to get everything in place. Test some more. And some hot glue to keep the internal parts in their position. It's rather fiddly, but in the end it works. Some adjustments of the ESP32W LED settings, and it seems to work just fine. The most difficult part of this project was getting the ESP32 programmed with WLED. It's really easy, but before I understood I had to install a special driver, I found online to get my computer to talk to my ESP, I was struggling. But I found it, and as you can see, the Kylo Ren lightsaber works perfectly. Well that's it, I hope you have liked this build, and if you have followed me until the end, I really appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video and consider subscribing for more nerdy stuff in the future. See ya!